Thrasio, an Amazon aggregator, has raised another $750 million. They're the largest Amazon aggregator uh, in the world right now. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. You're going to hear me talk a lot more about Amazon aggregators. I think that the impact of Amazon aggregators is well misunderstood and not known in the space right now. If you're not paying attention to what is going on with brand acquisitions right now, you are missing the boat. Thrasio already raised a billion dollars. The fact that they're getting uh, another series funding here this quickly is a big deal. Not only were they first to market, everybody's copying them now. I personally am aware of about 70 or 80 aggregators on the market, and they are gobbling Amazon brands up. EBITDAs, if you're an Amazon seller, are going to go up 40% this year. And the skill set to service these accounts is in high demand. The Amazon Marketplace role at play is well and truly underway. According to this article, in the latest development, Thrasio, one of the biggest and earliest movers in the market to consolidate third-party sellers on the platform with the promise to provide better economies of scale to manage and grow those businesses, announced it has raised another $750 million at a valuation that could be between three and $4 billion or higher. A spokesman would only say it was less than $10 billion. <laughs> uh, that is some smart marketing on that spokesperson's part. The funding is being led by existing backers of Oak Tree and Advent. It also includes participation from previous unnamed investors. That list of equity backers has included Peak Six, Western Technology Investment, Jason Finger, the co-founder of one of the early players in food delivery startups, Seamless. Rassio said it would be using the money to continue its rapid pace of buying up more third-party sellers in the Amazon FBA ecosystem. A reference to smaller merchants that sell and distribute their products using the fulfillment by Amazon service from the e-commerce giant. This is a big deal, and you're going to see more competition enter the space. The model of, hey, let's go private label an item and grab it off Alibaba is coming to a close. It's over. Like this is the future. Right now, Amazon aggregators are going to blow the market up. They're going to put so much capital into selling on Amazon. You're going to see PPC costs go up. You're going to see the competition on design, staffing needs, logistics, all of it. It's going to go up. These players are going to go buy vertical control and create ecosystems of complex operations. They're going to bring in all these smart people and they're going to up the game. The same thing has happened in every industry since the creation of, of marketing, right? Like, like happened to the railroad industry, happened to the cotton industry, like every single industry ever. This is the largest movement you will see in the next two years. I'm very bullish. I believe we're going to see massive amounts of capital disruption in the space uh, and continue to see it impact. I'm going to continue reading the article. Thrasio continues ex exceptional growth, said Joshua Cyberstein, who co-founded and co-leads the company with Carlos Cashman. Over the last two months, we've been acquiring 1.5 million in revenue per day. Those are his; These are his italics. Thrasio is now closing to two or three deals every week. Thrasio to date has acquired nearly 100 FPA businesses, and says it reached that number by way of evaluating 6,000 possible companies and 14,000 category leading products. 6,000 may sound like a big number, but one estimate puts the number of third party sellers on Amazon at around 5 million, a number that appears to be growing exponentially at the moment, with more than 1 million sellers joining the platform last year. I, I'll, I'll give my take on this. There are not that many big sellers on Amazon. Um, maybe a, maybe 50 to 100,000 serious Amazon sellers on the platform, north of 1 million. Uh, could be a little off on that evaluation. Uh, the size of the opportunity plus the Amazon proven promise of economy of scale in the world of e-commerce e are likely two reasons why we've seen so many startups emerging looking to roll them up. Thrasio's $750 million fundraise is an all equity venture round. A, a spokesman for the company said it was not disclosing valuation, but in January when it closed a debt round of $500 million, it was reported that the company was valued at $3 billion. That was a debt round, so it's not clear whether that was taking into account this upcoming equity injection or if we would consider this equity round on top of that. That means there's a reasonable estimate based on the $3 billion figure 
could be anything between three and four billion, but quite possibly more. Quite possibly more, not because of the figure the spokesman told us, but because the news comes at a particularly overheated time in a specific area of e-commerce. Thrasios News came out yesterday afternoon, only hours after we reported on a new rival called Branded, which launched its own roll-up business on $150 million in funding with a critical detail. One of its co-founders is the deep-pocketed European VC firm Target Global. So uh, it would not surprise me if we see a $100 million uh, uh, aggregator launch every week for the rest of this year. Would not surprise me in the slightest. And that comes on the heels of others in the space. They include, in additions to Thrasio and Branded, Berlin Brand Group, Seller X, Heyday, Heroes, Perch, and more, collectively raising or committing their own balance sheets well over $1 billion in aid of their own efforts to buy up small but promising third-party merchants. For its part, Thrasio notes the fundraising was quickly and diluted existing shareholders by 11.1% and has now raised 1.75 in equity and debt. Thrasio products do not carry any of the Thrasio branding, but I'm guessing that as Thrasio and its rivals look for a better edge and aim to give the impression of more quality, rather than the fly-by-night feeling that some of these sellers have today, we may see that coming out. That's a good prediction. Uh, pretty much guarantee that's going to happen. Brands that own uh, that its owns include Vibe Percussion, Deep Tissue Massage Gun, Circadian Optics, Bright Light Therapy Lamps, and Skincare Products, Sidera Skincare, and Thrasio said. In the competition for the best of these, Thrasio claims its marketing and analytics can help these newcomers compete with top hold household name labels, quickly becoming the trusted items that consumers turn to their everyday needs. The feverish pace of fundraising in the area of FBA rollups feels very much like a bubble in the market, not least because none of these still young companies have yet to prove the strategy to buy up and consolidate these sellers is a useful and profitable one. I'm going to disagree with the article on this one. This is not a bubble. This is the real thing. Uh, the brands were undervalued. They are now going to be treated like they were valuable, and the retail market is collapsing. This is an inevitability argument, in my opinion. Uh, the likelihood of this being a bubble is very small. Now, I realize every time a bubble has happened, everybody's like, oh, it's not a bubble, this is real, a la dot-com rush, case example. But, but this one is a very different scenario. There is nowhere else to put money right now safely, quite frankly. So this is one of the best places to do it. The only one that has stated it is profitable, Berlin Brands Group, has done so on its existing business model, which has involved building a variety of third-party sellers from the ground up, not buying others with whatever legacy baggage they may carry, good or bad. Thrasio very much is the go big or go home stages of scaling with funding and in its favor, although it's only three years old, founded in 2018, that age has made it one of the oldest and more proven in its current wave. In 10 years, omnichannel retail will be the backbone of the entire consumer products ecosystem. That statement is true. But today, in its uh, genesis, every day the fabric of this market is twisting as it continues to evolve, said Cashman in a statement. Our balance sheet isn't built to win yesterday's battles. It's designed to pursue the accelerating opportunities that accompany these kinds of seismic changes in an industry. I think this article is spot on. Whoever wrote this, good job. I'll probably have to reach out to the author. Uh, Angel Angela Kotzel. So I'll reach out and let them know what my thoughts are. Um, I think uh, you should subscribe to some of my aggregator content. Click on this playlist at the end of this video and see what else the, the aggregators are doing. You need to pay attention to them. It will affect us all. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy.